are you ready to level up your spiritual game? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Naledi. And yeah, so today's video is basically going to be about growing closer to God and building a better connection with Him. By the way, while we're doing this, you can grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, you can grab a notepad, or you know, anything to make you feel comfortable and at ease while we're talking about this. I feel like there's so many of us who want to like start our spiritual journey but just don't know where to begin or don't know the right way of doing it you know because there's so many different ways people go about like praying and learning about the word of God or just even like just starting your spiritual journey and the thing about it is that there's no one right way of doing it i feel like as a person you should always make sure that you make it easy for yourself and you make it enjoyable and fun for yourself to grow closer to god build a connection with him and pray and learn about his word you know i don't think there's a specific way of doing it you know i don't think there's a specific right way of doing it i feel like we are all different people and i feel like you should do what works for you and if you've reached the stage or the age in your life where you're like oh my gosh like i want to learn or know how to grow closer to god or i want to like start building my spiritual journey and you don't know where to begin i think that this video is for you i feel like you're gonna enjoy this video i really hope that i can help someone I i'm still doing my research i'm still learning i just started recently and i just want to like share some tips on how to go about it if you don't know how to start so here is another aspect about religion that nobody talks about so we are all born from different environments different backgrounds different families and we all get introduced to different types of religions right and i feel like it's not always or it's not everyone that was like following through with um the religion that they were born in you know the practices that they were born in you know and i feel like i'm one of those people i was born more into a family that is like more cultural and it is more based around african spirituality you know and i very much respect it don't get me wrong i respect where i come from i respect my culture i will always respect my ancestors and all of that but I feel like I want to go about growing my spiritual journey in my way, in a way that I feel like it's going to like sit well with me and make me comfortable and just makes it easier for me. So yeah, and I feel like this is the time. I feel like now I'm at the age where I know what spiritual journey I want to follow. I know how I want to go about practicing um, my religion. So now let's talk about another thing about religion. Religion may be depicted or put in a light that makes it seem so boring and not fun. And I think that is just like all because of what is mostly shown about it. You know, that is like the picture that is mostly given when you think about religion and spirituality you know so it's not fun it's boring it has all these rules and you can't do this and you can't do that you know so that's why i feel like it is very important to like make sure that you make your spiritual journey align more with your personality your being and what you enjoy doing like make it fun make it enjoyable for yourself so that every time you have to pray every time you need to study the bible you don't feel like oh oh my gosh i have to pray like you don't it doesn't feel forced you know you make it fun for yourself you make it enjoyable for yourself you know so yeah so just like some of you i also didn't know where to begin when it came to religion and spirituality you know i didn't know where to begin hence the exposure that i have been exposed to my entire life you know so i didn't have any specific idea on how to go about praying or journaling or learning about the bible you know so i did my research and i really encourage that you do your research as well i don't think you should follow what everyone else is doing i think you should find a specific way of doing it that that aligns more with you that makes you feel more comfortable doing it and that makes it funner and easier for you so that it's not a drag you know 
So yeah, I didn't know where to begin and I did my research. I did my research on Pinterest. I felt like Pinterest helped me a lot with like um the methods, the different methods of praying, the different methods of like um reading the Bible. If you like if you don't know where to start because the Bible is like ooh the Bible is like the Bible, you know? And you sometimes you just don't know where to start. Like, if you don't know where to start like you can go on pinterest and like it will give you everything that you need i literally use pinterest for every single aspect in my life so uh -oh. i just feel like i have a concordi okay right okay yeah you know you can go on pinterest and look up some methods of like praying reading the bible growing closer to god the steps that you should take so yeah do your research uh, another um part of research that i used was tiktok so I also made sure that I switched and turned my algorithm a little bit, not all the way, but a little bit more on the Christian side so that I get to learn more. So that like as I'm scrolling through TikTok, I get a verse, you know, or I get some tips, you know. So yeah, I also used uh, TikTok as a form of research. I don't want to lie. Like I feel like Google kind of makes things a little bit boring, you know, because Google makes it seem or sound like you're talking to a robot you know oh yeah i went about doing it like this you know i did that i did that so i feel like that's why tiktok was like okay one of like the best way of like doing my research when it came to that so yeah so right as i said tiktok right i heard about this app on tiktok it's called the blessed app right and it's like a really really cool app especially if you're a person that's just like starting your journey and you don't know where to begin because i feel like most of the time when you think about a bible app you think about just like a bible app where it's just like a bible you know so i'm pretty sure you can get this app off of app store if you're using ios or you can get it from the google play store right and the app is called blessed right so these are the features on this app this is like everything to me i really really love these things about the app so one of the features of the app is that so this is a bible app right it's like a basic bible app where you can find the bible in different translations right but but it has its cool features like it's not just that by the way this is not a paid promo this is not a paid promo but i'm just putting you on but that's not the only thing about the app right these are some of its features if you see me looking down i'm reading because you know early signs of aging in your 20s nobody speaks about that yeah <laughs> um so this app provides you with a daily verse a daily scripture so every day in the morning when you wake up you are provided with a scripture you know and below that scripture is an explanation so the explanation basically gives you a simplified um meaning of what the scripture is talking about or what the word that is saying you know As especially because i feel like in the text that the bible is written in is like i don't know about everyone else but it's like really hard for me to understand most of the things been said but after getting the scripture you are provided with an explanation about what exactly that scripture is speaking about. And below that explanation is a prayer, darling. So it provides you with a scripture, it provides you with an explanation, and then it provides you with a prayer. And the prayer has to do with the scripture that you just read. So it's basically guiding you and what to pray about in relation to the scripture that you just read secondly you don't only get that scripture in the morning but you also get a scripture before you go to bed and just like the morning scripture it's the scripture it's the explanation and then it's the prayer and another thing about the scriptures is that you don't have to like consciously um open the app and be like okay let me find a scripture today you know or like you don't have to open the app in order for you to like get the scripture you're going to get notified every morning and every night on the scripture so the app is basically going to pop up and say hey i have your morning scripture go and read it you know and it's going to do the same thing with the night um scripture
The fourth cool thing about this app is that it is that the Bible comes in different translations. And by different translations, I don't mean that or Kiria Bible Ela Gaspedi or Gaswana or Gazulu. No, that's not what I mean. But you are going to get it like in different translation in terms of like um the way that it was written. You know, we have the King James, you know, and we have different types of um ways that a bible is written so you're going to get it in different translations the fifth cool feature about this app is it has an audio feature so if you're lazy and you don't want to be reading the bible for yourself it has an audio feature so you can actually press on the feature that says do you want me to read the bible out for you and it will do exactly that it will put boom. <laughs> It will read the Bible out for you. But it doesn't end there. So this is my favorite feature of the app. So the app comes with the Bible AI chat. Let me tell you something, darling. I love this feature so much because it makes it easier for you to learn more, especially if there's something that you don't understand. Sometimes it's very hard to understand the Bible because of the text that it is written in. And when you have the Bible AI chat, if you read a scripture or if you read a certain part in the bible and you don't understand you can just go to the bible ai chat and ask it like hey yo like what is what exactly is been said here like what does this mean if you have any question in relation to like anything that has to do with the bible anything that has to do with prayer anything that has to do with god you can just go to the bible ai chat and it will answer you accordingly this is my favorite feature on this app so yeah there's many more other features but those are like my favorite features of the app right so yeah that's the app and i really hope you guys download it like if you're really trying to grow your faith and you you just don't know where to start or you don't understand half of the things that are going on in the bible this app is for you so yeah that's one of the things that i use to make sure that i am deepening and growing a better relationship with god but here's another method that i use so from the scripture that i get from the app right especially the morning scripture right i have a prayer journaling way of going about understanding the scripture and praying for myself because even though you will be provided with a prayer after reading the scripture that doesn't necessarily mean that the prayer is going to cover every aspect in your life. So I feel like that's why it is also important to like do your research and find a better way to make sure that everything is been done to your advantage. So after receiving the scripture in the morning from the app, I use the SOAP method. SOAP is an abbreviation and it stands for scripture, observation, appreciation and prayer and from every scripture that i get from the bible app i will apply the soap method on it as that's where you're going to write down the scripture of the day and the o is the observation what have you observed from reading that scripture basically what have you learned a stands for appreciation which means what do you appreciate about the scripture that you just read what did you receive what did you get what what do you appreciate about what you just read you know and p stands for prayer which is a prayer the prayer can relate to the scripture that you just read or you can just pray for what you want to pray whatever's going on in your life whatever is going on around you you can just pray about that and yeah so but there's different ways of praying like i said when it comes to my praying pinterest came very handy so use all these different platforms so yeah these are the ways that i go about deepening my faith growing closer to god and building a better connection with him i really hope this video can help you get started with your spiritual journey i hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah thanks so much for watching i love you guys so much bye